Hi, I'm Dr. Del Rosario. Today we will continue our discussion of common injuries and talk about sprains, strains, and broken bones. When a child gets injured, it might be difficult to tell if the injured body part is sprained or broken. So let's go over the difference and review a little bit of anatomy. A sprain or strain occurs when a muscle, tendon, or ligament is overstretched or torn. Tendons are what connect our muscles to our bones, and ligaments are what hold our bones together and stabilize our joints. So when someone sprains their ankle, that means they've overstretched or torn one of the ligaments in their ankle, but the bones are still intact. A fracture, on the other hand, means that the bone itself has been broken. One unique thing to know about injuries in kids is that the growth plates in their bones are still open, meaning that their bones are still growing and developing. So compared to older teens and adults who have already reached their final adult height, children's bones are at a relatively higher risk for fractures since their growing bones are more susceptible to stress. Generally speaking, all fractures, sprains, and strains can cause significant pain, swelling, and bruising. If your child is in significant pain or unable to bear weight on the affected body part, it's best to bring them into their doctor. Based on what the injury looks like and how it occurred, your doctor will decide to order an x-ray. Keep in mind that an x-ray is not necessary for every single injury because x-rays look at the bone only and don't give us much information about the surrounding muscles, tendons, and ligaments. But if an x-ray is done and it confirms a fracture, a splint will need to be placed. This is to protect and immobilize the broken bone and allow it to heal. Your doctor will also determine if the splint will then need to be replaced with a cast or if a referral to an orthopedic specialist is needed. As for sprains and strains, most can be cared for at home after the initial medical evaluation. You may have heard of the acronym RICE for treatment of sprains and strains. RICE stands for R, resting the injured body part for at least 24 hours, I for ice packs or cold compresses, which should be applied every few hours for the first couple days to prevent swelling. C for compression in the form of an elastic bandage or ACE wrap. And E for elevation to keep the injured body part above heart level as much as possible to ease the swelling. Additionally, your doctor will likely recommend an over-the-counter medication such as ibuprofen for pain and inflammation. Most sprains and strains will heal within a couple weeks, while fractures take longer, generally about four to six weeks depending on the type. And once your child's splint or cast has been removed, keep in mind that the injured body part will feel stiff, so they should do gentle stretching exercises and gradually return to their normal activities to prevent re-injury. For Pediatric Minute, I'm Dr. Del Rosario.